Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. In the uh, last episode, we managed to, well, we re barely managed to do anything. But what we did is we struggled a lot with waste. So um, what I basically did now is I've um, set a lot of this waste to go directly to the border. I still don't quite get why I'm only carrying 73 tons of waste here when I should be carrying 108. But anyway... We're going directly to the border now and selling the waste, um, basically exporting the waste. It's such a low price, right? It's less than a thousand rubles. So in my mind, it's a win for us to do that because we're also struggling a little bit at the moment to get things under control over here. If we can have a look at this, a lot of this stuff is, is pretty packed um, and we do need to just bear that in mind. So maybe what I'll do is I will uh, go ahead and do that. Go and do your unloading over there. Just try and manage that a little bit better. Um, because what's happening is this guy's filling up and so everything stops, basically. So we need to sort things out a little bit. Our waste is getting out of control. So the idea is generally for us to just um, sell a lot more of our waste. Um, until we can get a new facility up and running. And that's something that I'm pretty keen on getting done. Now, one of the things I wanted to ask you guys, and please go to the comments down right now, and tell me whether you would be okay with me speeding things up. At the moment, I like the last episode, I'm quite disappointed by how little we've achieved in the last episode. There, we did barely anything because we were dealing with all kinds of little things around waste and, and other bits and pieces. Now, one of the things that I would want to do is, is maybe some of these things like realigning our logistics and, and things like that. I would like to do that maybe off camera or in between episodes or skip through it or, or something like that. So the episodes can um, run a little quicker. That's, that's kind of the idea that I have around it. So please go to the comments. At the moment, what I've done is I've, I've, I've generally tried to record absolutely everything we do, the good and the bad. Um, and so lack of progress is one of those things that we, you would see um, in the way we've been doing stuff at the moment. So um, let me know in the comments down below uh, if you think that's something that um, uh, you, that we can do. Um, skip a lot of that stuff or would you like to see absolutely everything we do and um, deal with the slightly slower paced episode? So I'd like to have a little bit of a um, shall we say poll going in the comments so go to the comments tell me whether you'd like to see everything or whether we can speed it up a little bit and skip some things so go to the comments let me know and uh, and I'll see if I um, start doing it uh, well based on the responses I get I'll start um, changing things up um, in the next two to three episodes so that's the plan okay now in this episode what we've been doing is we've generally not achieved much. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to um, quickly um, expand um, a few sections of road here. Okay. So, and then I'll go ahead and pay for the road construction segments. Okay. So that's the, the first thing I want to do. Now, the next piece of the puzzle is to for us to maybe start working on, on, uh, on some of this. We can get access pretty quickly, kind of wondering whether we bridge across here or, or go across here in any other way, shape or form. We will need to plan out what we're going to do with our with our rail. And let's have a look at this. Yeah, but it should work pretty well to kind of get in there. Now, so that's that's part of some of the things that we need to do. I wouldn't mind making a start. What we will do is both of the both of those. OK, so what we do need to do while we have it going here, is let's get ourselves a little bit of a, a big pickup facility. Something like this. Oh, we can't even get them both to work. That's not right. So if we were to do... Let's try and, let's try and see if we can't get something like this in place. So if we were to do that, right, can we then, um, tie something like that in place there and 
unfortunately, we really can't do much. Come on. Let's get that out of the way and we'll go again. Again, we, we're pretty, pretty trimmed here. So I'm trying to see that if if we do that, can we actually get it all to work? So we'll just leave it like so. And for the time being, you know what? I'm just going to build all of these roads because um, the roads is a bit of a is a bit of a bummer if we if we let them do that. So we'll do all of those. We'll do all of this. We'll do all of that. There we go. Okay, now let's uh, let's quickly really start building. Some of these road segments. I th I'm pretty sure we could have um, made that work either way. But what I would like to do is so now um, let's just start um, start the construction process. Some of this stuff will take ages. So let's start the construction process on all of these things. I'm kind of going to just let everything start over here. So we'll get the mining process going. We will need water and all kinds of things and one thing actually while we have it let's uh i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna sorry i'm going to be a little bit pedantic about this and quickly sort out our fencing here so let's quickly go back um trim it out over there pay for the deconstruction of this road every time that kind of happens our money is reasonable not in too much trouble just yet. So let's do that. What I would like to do is get a bit of a fence going here. So if we go with a bit of a gate here. Uh, I think that's the one I'd rather do. Okay, try and get it. Oh, yeah, nice and aligned. That's the one. Let's um, we'll build that. So now our... Stuff is sorted out. Yeah, that's okay. Don't mind that too much. Um, so now at least we'll be able to do, we'll be able to run a bit of a fence um, over there, but that's okay. So at least this whole mining sector area here will be kind of fenced off and it kind of makes sense to do it in the way we've done it over here. So now um, construction, I believe, should start happening and we'll start seeing some stuff running over this way. Oh, actually, yeah, it is. Where, what, are, what are you doing? Oh, you're bringing in stuff straight away. Okay, good. Now, the next thing I would like to do is start planning out what a steel mill could look like over here. Now, before we do that, maybe what I do is plan out a little bit more rail. Plan out a little bit more rail. And maybe, um, maybe what I do is I start working on... Start working on something like this. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's okay. And the plan would be here that I would run that. Uh, if we do that. And we'll go over here. And up there. And we'll try and tie them in in a reasonable fashion. There we go. Ambulance didn't arrive. Let's quickly have a look at that. That seems to be a pretty problematic piece. Um, so we have an issue here where an ambulance didn't arrive. Let's quickly have a look where our um, local hospitals are. We've got certainly something over here got one ambulance um, so that's kind of dealing with uh, tourists and the likes we've got we've definitely got this over here ah we can certainly buy a couple more ambulances there see about getting them to arrive a little quicker did we build um, some form of um, some form of hospital on this side we must have that is a small clinic with one ambulance so potentially we are running out of um, hospital coverage and so we do need to just bear that in mind anything else that's really problematic uh, i don't think so so let's clear that one out now back over to this side of things i want to keep going 
on um, getting a few things done here. So that's our our piece there. Uh, it should be pretty reasonable in terms of getting all of our I'm kind of a little worried about it. Um, I may let's uh, let's get that last piece um, out of the way, and what we'll do is we'll start a new a new one over here. Start it over there, get it out of the way, and we'll kind of run it up there. Yeah, just so we um, make sure that we've got them um, plenty long enough, really. There we go, that's actually a pretty good flare out. There we go, so now we can park a lot of these trains over there. They'll come off over here, we'll park them down there, and then what we'll do is we'll kind of try and run them in. Something like this, really. Actually, what we can do is let's trim that back a little bit. Uh, we'll get rid of this one and we'll try and get it tied in pretty quickly, actually. Something like that. And then what we'll do is we'll place this one out there so it's not too bad. We'll do something like that. There we go. So now all of that should work. Similarly, I wouldn't mind getting you know, that in place. So now all of this can quite comfortably make uh, a move, and what we'll do is we'll we'll try and get this um, So actually, what we'll do is let's bring this back a little bit. So it's very it's it's really not that important on this side of things. And I could rather just uh, if we could just tie it in. I just need enough room for us to uh, to get a get a signal in there. There we go. So that's okay. And then what we'll do is we'll we'll tie in the next piece here, and we'll get that to go in. We'll try and make that work, and at the same time we'll try and get this one to work. Maybe if I trim it back a little bit, it should be fine. Really? Come on. There we go. So now we should be able to get all of our signals in there. Let's just double check that because it's important we do so. Yeah, I think this is going to work like a charm. And um, we'll do a little something like that. There we go. So now all of that can, can quite comfortably work out of there. Perfect, there we go. So what I'll do is I will activate that and what we can probably do is we will need to um, do a little bit of this. So let's um, go with a mixed signal over there and what we'll do is we'll go with a any direction signal like so and we'll go with a, um, any direction there. Any uh, Actually, this should be a mixed signal like so, and then you can get it out there. So now these trains should be able to go in here and start the build process. So let's grab our trains and uh, and get them to start building. We can now um, remove that, grab this guy that's not doing anything, and it should have all of the stuff we need if only we um, assign something to it. So let's go ahead and assign some of this stuff to be constructed. So go in there and go and get get that going and I'm happy for you to just kind of slowly work your way through all of that. Uh, once you get up to here we'll get the second train added and we'll move on from there. So this is going to be um, this is going to be our iron iron um, iron ore um, actually iron. The next part of the puzzle is for us to use all of this iron and coal and we actually need to build um, a steel mill. If we grab this, like a steel mill over here, 
our options with steel mill, I want to have a quick look at the modded side of things. We go steel mill. We've got this guy um, producing 12 tons of steel, that guy producing 18, and that guy producing 75 tons, but using electricity. So that's okay. We're not going to do that. This guy is for some reason consuming all kinds of other stuff. This guy is 12 tons of steel using 150. So this is a smaller steel mill compared to this one. So we're just going to go with the standard, the stock standard steel mill. And the question I always have with steel mills is how do I set up? Um, how do I set up the stuff? So if we go in here, steel mill has storage for 150 tons of iron, 150 tons of coal, and it uses um, much more coal than it uses iron. So really, we should be uh, um, in adding some additional, some additional pieces. So. What I wouldn't mind doing is seeing how we can tie it in. Uh, maybe over here somewhere. That is, I think, a pretty reasonable spot, to be honest. So if we were to say we'll get a steel mill going over there. Right. And then... We will need to do um, some pretty substantial pieces of, of stuff here. So I think these are probably a fairly reasonable size. So if we flip it around and get it to have the access point to the other side there. Yeah, I'm pretty, okay, that's actually, I might want to do it this way instead. Try and get it pretty close there. Okay, so something like that really. We'll go ahead and tie um, this guy in. So now we've got both iron and and how much, so if I just go back here, just how much steel can this thing carry? 150 tons. So we, do we, the question is really, do we, are we okay to just load up steel directly on there? Or do we want to provide an additional steel supply? I think we probably want to provide an additional steel supply. So if we go here and we say open storage, please. I think there was another, like let's have another mod here and we go open storage. Open storage. I think there was a fancy mod, a new mod that I got. It's not actually reflecting here just yet. So where would I find it though? Okay, so if we were to say um, hardware, I think it was called hardware. Yeah, here it is. Hardware store. Let's um, let's do that. I don't know. Uh, so what does that actually hold? It holds a little bit of everything, but really minimal of anything. So really, that's uh, that's maybe a good thing for a new area, but it's not what we're going to use over here. Over here, we will instead use something that carries a hell of a lot. So like the 4K one, I think is the uh, is the one for us. So what I'm after is maybe something like this. Or spin it around and get it to be, yeah, actually, that might be a little bit better for us in this context. So we'll go ahead and get that one in place there. So now at least we'll be able to get iron, coal, and steel in quite large formats in here. Um, that's all good. I'm happy with all of that. And all we need to do is see how we're going to actually use the train, the train pieces. So will we try and tie, uh, we could maybe try and tie it in over here I'm fairly comfortable with that and then on this side what we'll do is we'll we'll run it off around there yeah that's pretty cool let's let's have a bit of a look at what we can achieve here I I'm not too I'm not too so 
If we were to run it like that, right? And then over here, what we'll do is we'll... Oh, that one in there. Really? There we go. And there we go. So that should work. That's going to be absolutely fine. We'll run this one in here. Come on. You're going to have to work with me. Okay, so let's, uh, let's trim that back a little bit and see how we can make that work. Is that fire? Uh, it should be fine. Let's close off all of that. Um, if we were to try and... I'm just trying to... Really doesn't want to... Doesn't want to... Ooh, that's not right. I don't want that. Uh, well, let's just get that sorted. That's okay. Hmm... Come on! Kind of wondering how we're going to make this work, but I wouldn't mind tying it in like that. That access point there, I'd rather just continue to use that very same, um, that very same access point in that location. I'm not going to bridge it across this. So what I'm thinking we do is play around with this road just a little bit. If I go here, we'll get rid of this road. Uh, we'll need to get rid of it all, probably all the way up to there. And I'll go ahead and pay for that. It's not too pricey. Get that done. I will uh, clean this up. And now what we'll do is the plan would be... Trim, oop, um, trim this one back. Uh, actually, trim it back all the way. And take it from there and we do that. I think think that would be fairly reasonable. And then what we'll do is we'll Come on. There we go. So it's a little bit more convoluted over here. But I'll go and comfortably sort that out. Because I think that's going to be fine. What I'll do at the same time is I'll quickly um, pay for that piece of, of, of rail. And the rest we'll see about how we how we build that. Presumably we'll have enough, um, enough guys to want to do that. So if I trim this back. Uh, yeah, we'll have to... We'll have to like slowly make our way over there. To kind of maneuver into that space and that's absolutely fine. We'll do that. Similarly, we would like to... Do a little something like this. around there and what I'll also do is I'll try and tie something in over here there we go that's fine just in case we want to run something through there but the idea would generally not be to do that and what we'll do is then we'll hmm we'll leave it there for the time being let's leave that there and what I'll do is 
Let's extend a little bit of long stretches through there. Actually, let's do that one instead. And so what I'll do is I'll trim this one back. And what we'll do is we'll do that. There we go. Now, from here, what we would like to do is tie that in. And we tighten that up a little. Probably can, but what I'll do is I'm just going to go ahead and leave it in place there. So let's do that. Uh, let's do that. And... Come on, find me a spot there and tie that one in there. So now at least we've got a bit of a loop going there. It shouldn't be too problematic. Um, I'll get that moving. So we should be able to make that work. Now, what I would like to do is give us a, a one-way block over there. Um, we would like a one-way block to this direction. That's going to be fine. Um, ooh, what I haven't quite been... Actually, what I'll do is I'll put one there and then we'll just do um, kind of two chains over here. And that'll kind of sort that out, I think. Uh, plus maybe one there and maybe one there. Yeah, that should be okay to keep things fairly tight. There we go. That should be uh, pretty reasonable, really. Okay, all good there. Um, I'll do that and a bit of a chain over here. So that should be pretty comfortable. There we go. Nice. Okay. So now um, I'm assuming, yeah, this is underway and our guys should be doing their thing. Okay, now that's good. So there we go. That is our our steel mill um, where we're going to actually start doing some, some work. Now, give me... Uh, a reasonable so let's do up to there go a bit go around the corner here okay let's try that again let's um let's trim that back a little bit uh, what I would like to do, actually, what I would like to do is let's go straight there. Trim this back even more. And instead of doing that, let's just tie it in. There we go. And this one will tie in straight over there. This one will come around here at like a 90 degree piece. And we'll... Oh, hang on. Before we do that, we're missing out one more thing. Let's, uh, let's trim this back. Start again. We would like... Um, a rail connection to come in over here and tie in. Okay, so we would like rail to be disaggregate loading. Our happiness is ha good, our health is good, and our unemployment is reasonable. We're almost 30,000 people and our money is good. Just I want to just make sure we keep, a, keep an eye on that. So we would like um, aggregate unloading, train aggregate unloading. Uh, no, the other way around, please. Uh, so it's this... No. Train aggregate. What? Train aggregate unloading. Here we go. Two only. Okay, so two two trains only at a time, it seems. That seems to be pretty reasonable. Do we have a road connection somewhere? Oh yeah, we do. We do have over there. Okay, that's that's kind of what we're after, right? Yeah, that seems pretty reasonable. So let's do train aggregate unloading over there. Now that is a is an interesting one. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to also tie off a train that uh, then starts running in over here. What we'll do is we'll run that straight over here in this location. So it doesn't look too awkward. 
something like that is absolutely awesome. We'll do that. And then from around about there, actually we'll trim it forward a little bit. Uh, we'll get the other one where we'll run it off over there. Similarly, we'll go out that way and we will tie it in fairly soon. And we will tie that one in over there. Now, that is good. Now, here we will probably have to get a little bit of go uh, a little bit going. So there we go. Those are our train connections in here. That's going to be fair enough. We don't need to worry too much about our road connectivity, though. What we'll do is we'll run... Do a little something like that. There we go. Try and get it a little bit more like so. And what we'll do is we'll try that. What we'll do is we'll clean this up a little bit. And actually, you can give a little bit more room there. There we go. We'll do that. Uh, okay, let's uh, just finish off our steel mill planning over here. Let's trim that back out. We'll get that to tie in. We'll get that to tie in. We'll get that to tie in. And we'll get that to tie in over there. Uh, similarly, I will quickly uh, redo a little stretch over there. Let's go up to all the way there. Do something like that. And there we go. And... There we go. So now this should kind of give me everything I need in this area. One thing that doesn't quite look right to me is this very um, kind of uh, sl uh, slow and steady angle here. I'd rather get something a little bit more acute. Now it's going to kind of matching the rest of the theme here. This one is a little bit different. Um, and so what I want to do here is let's trim out a little section there. That's reasonable enough spacing. So give me um, my standard fence setup. So we can do some compound work here. There we go. We'll go with that. And um, I think from a road perspective, I'm just going to go ahead and pay for it. Pay for some of these roads so we can make a start on our construction of these items. So there we go. That is our road connections for our steel mill. Our steel mill is kind of being planned. What we'll do is eventually we'll tie in these connections here. Um, I'm kind of wondering whether, well, what we'll do is we'll just run something out here and put an extra fence somewhere and see how we how we deal with the rest of that. But that is a good starting point for us to um, make a start on some of the construction. Look at this stuff. Look at this stuff, guys. We are moving along pretty quickly. That is done. What we need to do is get a couple of, I think, a couple, uh, I don't think we need hazardous. A couple of biologicals and the rest is just mixed waste. Um, and slow and steady, all of this stuff is slowly going to be built. Can we have a look at where you can get access to? Maybe if we, um, if we upgrade those a little bit, that'll work a little bit better. Now, we also had a comment suggesting that we should start running trains that will... Um, that will deliver deliver stuff directly so we don't have to worry about those trucks that's not actually getting um repaired uh which by the way we have one over here which we can which should now be repaired and we can move back to uh this facility but they're not really being used anymore i've upgraded some of these rails here so that we have room for more more trains and more things that we want to export at once um all of these trains are up and running doing their thing there's a lot of stuff over here. Uh, we're slowly making our way through some of this stuff. Um, I would hope. So that one's full, so this is probably not working. That's fine. So let's quickly go ahead and say, instead of going there, go there. Go and unload and do that. And wait until you're unloaded. And what we'll do is we'll delete that. So now you're going to go and dump some stuff over there. 
It's a little bit more room now, 40 tons there. Hopefully, this, I think, is a bit problematic. This stuff should still be burnt. I think this kind of messed stuff up over here a little bit. But really, we need to move things through a little bit more. Um, we still have waste over here. All of this is, I'm assuming, still running. Yeah, we're really not getting ahead of the waste spiral. Yeah, because we can't actually move any of this stuff out of the way. Yeah, we're struggling. We're struggling tremendously with some of this stuff. How's this looking? Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, we're not exporting any of that, but hopefully most of our areas that needs chemicals is well and truly covered with regards to chemicals. So that's awesome. Now, I'm kind of wondering whether we maybe at this in this area, we're not actually building anything. Um, and one of the things we could probably start having a bit of a look at is how we tie in electrification here. We don't have any trains coming in here now. So if we look at the rail electrification, right? Underground rail, rail electric connection. So if we do this, right? I'm kind of, I'm kind of tempted to, to get this guy moving and get it some some activation somewhere. What are my alternatives? I really don't have any alternatives. So if I were to maybe squeeze it in here, we should have a fair bit of electrification going on. And we can run it straight out of there. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe that's what I'll quickly do. Um, I'm going to just trim a few sections. Probably need to trim this a little bit more. Up to about uh, there. And at the same time, what we'll do is we'll pay for the removal of that. Okay, so with that out of the way, if we want to do a rail electrification section... Okay, we will have to trim back even more if we're going to make that work. But I would like to make it work. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll pay for getting that up and running. Okay, and now, kind of tempted to just get uh, rid of all of this. So let's get, move that, move that, and um, get that going out of the way and that going out of the way. And similarly, I would like to maneuver that out of the way, and I would like to maneuver this one out of the way. And what we'll do is we'll just pay for all of this removal, and we'll get the new sections up and running. Okay, so that should work for us. Now, if we go and get an electrified section of rail, like so, and like so, and then we'll go over there and uh, like that. It's not the cleanest like curves here, but I'm quite comfortable with that. What I will do is I will go ahead and pay for that. So we'll get a little bit of rail electrification potential going and we can move some other stuff through here. What we will need to do is get a bit of this going. That should all work. Excellent. Now, what I wanted to do is let's just make sure we get some... This is all kind of medium, right? Yeah, yeah, low voltage. So let's get one there and one there. Okay, and I will go ahead and pay for that. So now this guy should have um, a fair bit of electrification going on. Now... There's still plenty of other electrification we need to do. So what I'll quickly do is I'm going to just electrify this entire section here. So we, we have this all sorted out as things go along. I would like to do that and that and that. And uh, let's build all of this stuff. Make sure we've got everything tied in. Okay. It's costing us a fair bit of cash here. Do that, do that, good stuff. Do all of that, 
We'll do all of this. Excellent. Wow. I'm going to go under a million now. And we'll get all of that going. Excellent. Now we're under a million. Just going to do this little slither that we have over here. Actually, all the way up to there. And we'll pay for all of that. And that's where we're going to kind of going to leave it. So all of this thing is electrified over here. Um, so this area now is electrif electrified, so we can run really quick trains through here. Should be more than good enough um, for the time being, at least until we get some better stuff moving. Yeah, anyway, there's still a lot of work to be done in terms of the trains and things like that. Okay, so we've got the steel mill planned. And uh, we do need to do a new waste facility, but I'm not going to sort that out. I've asked you whether you would like to have us speed these things along a little bit. Let's quickly have a bit of a look at a health check around uh, this the, the place. Um, that's okay. I've done this, but that's kind of a bit of a mess there. What I thought I'd do is I'm going to, just from an aesthetic point of view, add a little bit of kind of um, forests around here so it kind of looks like we've cleared the forests a little bit for our our ex um our um these these pump jacks for our uh, our oil extraction kind of activities here so i'm gonna try and make it look fairly natural at least or make it look like it's been a bit of a, uh, a bit of a clearing that we've done. Yeah, so I'll just added a bit of plants there. So there we go. That's fine. Other than that, things are moving along pretty quickly. We can still build a fair bit here. Construction over here has commenced. Construction over here is quite heavily underway. So that's pretty good. We shouldn't be too far off. Now, what we can maybe start doing is see uh, what we need from a from a, from a, uh, the perspective of water and sewage. So, this guy needs, what does it need? It needs, oh, it doesn't actually need water. These don't need water. Not, not its own dedicated water connection, but of course we do need water and sewage. So we will want to bring in water and sewage. If we go underground, we can see that we can quite comfortably um, squeeze a bit of water out this way. How we deal with sewage is going to be a bit of a... A different question and we may have to uh yeah we we never we never kind of give ourselves enough room with this never ever so we can tie in over there we can tie in over there what i'd rather we do well maybe we can tie in on this side but we probably need even more stuff to be honest so what i might do Uh, none of this is really an issue. Can we... Uh, hang on. Actually, maybe what we do is we run our very own other piece um, through here. Let's have a quick look. If we go and say sewage, sewage flow, doesn't look too bad, but potentially we would want to do something that's going to run maybe straight through there. Okay, so let's let's have a look at that. Clear all of this out, and now, if I were to have a look at the sewage connections here, sewage, it's always better to do sewage first. So if I were to say, have a sewage piece there, that's going to be okay. We'll have another one, maybe somewhere over here. And then we'll do something like this here and that should be able to connect us to everything we need now if we were to say can we can we do that i believe we should be able to do that even though we're saying there's infrastructure in the way
really? You're really not going to... Yeah, it's a bit of a bummer, some of this stuff. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, get rid of that pipe there. And my question here is we don't have any, any power infrastructure here, do we? So if I were to say, do this, ooh, could make it work. Right over there. So let's see if we do that. That would be powered. I'll tie that one in there. Tie this one over there. And now we need a bit of a sewage connection kind of somewhere. In this location over here I think that's going to be comfortable and what we'll do is we will go ahead and pick you all tied up over there so there we go so now that'll tie you in that way and on this side of things what we'll do is we'll just do that so there we go so that's going to be our extra sewage connection I will go ahead and activate that that will need to be built slowly over time and have the cash to just uh, kind of do that straight away what I'll also do is I'll run a bit of a water connection out this way, but at the same time, I'll make sure to continuously do uh, these guys because I can't be bothered not to have them. So what we will want to do, if I do one right over here, it will actually be powered. So let's do that. We'll get one right over there. And, uh, and then what we'll do is we'll try and slowly find ourselves an extra piece, maybe... Something like this. We'll do that. So that should give us one there. And we'll have one final one uh, kind of right in this area. And we'll do um, ourselves a water substation. There we go. So that should be pretty good. Uh, we would like the big, uh, the big pipes. Give me the big pipe there, give me the big pipe there, and um, give me the big pipe to run there. And what we'll do is finally we'll, come on, tie that one in there and get it tied in like so. Beautiful. Let's get that to start moving slowly. Now, we will need to tie all of these things in, so let's do that. Tie that one in. Um, tie this one in, tie that one in, there, there, and ooh. God. there we go, you can get all of that sorted, um, there's a little section here that we can tie in and get constructed, construct over there, construct over there, and, uh, yeah, the rest of this should be quite buildable. Quite buildable. This one is not, so let's do that just to make sure that we've got all of those tied in. Excellent. So that's our water and sewage connections over here to the to the mining infrastructure. It's still slowly getting all of this done. We're actually making fairly good progress on it, which I'm quite comfortable with. Our trains are slowly building all of this stuff up. What we can do is make a start on the other side here too. Um, though, what I will need to do is get it to come back out or, okay, let's do, just want to make sure if I were to just, um, what I'll do is I'll clear that one out and then what I'll do is I'll grab this section and I'll tie it in like so i'm gonna go ahead and pay for that and then this one will be an outbound in that general direction this will be a mixed signal over there and uh, and the rest will kind of just do that right good now the rest should all be fine what i can do is i can get the guys to come and start work on that give me my um my track builders and send them over this way 
slowly we're getting we're moving on everything happiness is good health is good just want to keep an eye on that every now and again this is construction is underway let's uh let's assign another piece of work Ooh, where am i now jeez okay i'm gone i'm missing i'm missing in action come over here good uh can you please like a start over there please once you've done that you can go back out into that general direction shouldn't be a problem at all we've got the other guy coming in here building building onto this all of the time that's good we need to finish a lot of this stuff but we're making good progress actually good progress and um, our money is looking okay even though we're spending a lot of it um, but we, we're slowly getting there and our population is growing pretty significantly too. I don't think I'm going to build any other items here just yet because we're using all of our potential construction workers on getting some of this stuff moving. So we'll just keep that going. What we can, however, do is see if we need to build anything else over here because we certainly have construction crews just waiting around, not doing anything. Now, um, one of the things that we will need to do in order to... Um, improve things is to yeah we are in no way shape or form in a position where we can actually oh actually there we can do it we can run some additional stuff over here so let's do that let's grab ourselves a little bit of extra water infrastructure which i think we'll do here yeah i think that's going to be good if we flip that one around move it there Get that in place on that side. And get another one in place probably over here somewhere. That should give us a reasonable uh, water connectivity. So what I would like to do is run this one straight through there. And then that one I would like to tie in over there. Now let's... Um, Let's get that activated and hopefully everybody can make a start on building that for us. More infrastructure is the plan. Get that one in place, get this one in place and we'll slowly get all of that built. That should give us additional water infrastructure. What we'll also need to do is try in some additional um, infrastructure over here. There is at least a little bit going on for us there. So what we want to do is have a bit of a look. If we... Give a, give a look at that. That should work. So let's get... We do that. And we do that over there. I think that should be fairly reasonable. Though... We'll see. We'll see about getting going around it. Let's uh, let's get some um, some of these things going. You really can't make that work. That doesn't want to work at all. Okay. Well, what we'll do then is we'll do this. Should be fine. Are you in there? That's okay. Are you in that way? And then I believe you should be able to work. Really? You don't want to do that? Seriously, guys. Seriously. Do that one there. And we'll again tie that one in. Like so, and this should work. There we go. So we will get that activated. So now at least we've got some sewage connections going. That's going right under there. That's good. Let's um, let's tie these in. To get a bit of construction going. Get all of this construction moving. Excellent. So that should be good. So now at least all of that should start building up fairly quickly. Yeah, all of that is moving. 
So um, I'll leave that for, for the time being. So we're getting some additional infrastructure in place. So that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah, everybody is, uh, is moving around doing their thing. This thing is completely filled up. It's painful to say the least. This is full. Okay, let's uh, let's move this guy over again. Unfortunate, it's such a struggle. I'm just glad we're we're we've, we've been pretty much overwhelmed by um. Pretty much overwhelmed by this stuff. Pretty much overwhelmed by waste. Really, uh, and we could do another actually. Maybe that's what we should be doing. Maybe we'll grab ourselves another free waste spot here. Just to kind of get ahead of this. Because we will have to figure it out at some point. There's another free one we can squeeze in where? Probably over here, just to be honest. I'm going to do that. Let's squeeze in another. And instead of having it continuously run to the same spots, we'll grab this guy now. Actually, once it's dropped off another... What? Oh my goodness, it's probably gone and filled up or something. Okay, buy me another truck, please. Can I, do I have an extra one spot here? Yes, I do. Give me one more, actually, give me... Yeah, just, just buy a waste truck. Uh, let's just buy it in dollars. The waste, uh, water cistern waste truck, please. Uh, that one is actually quite big, but we um, we need one of these. Let's give me, give me one of those guys. And uh, what I'll do is you will come in over here, load up on mixed waste, and come and drop it off over there and make a start, please. Just so we move things along a little bit quicker to get, to make sure that these guys are actually running a little bit more effectively. Similarly with you, please move you over there and um, unload and wait until you're uh, unloaded and get rid of that guy. So now we've got two running, so hopefully we'll we'll move that along a little bit quicker, but hopefully we can also make a bit of a dent in some of these things. I just want to make sure all of our waste is actually currently continuously continuing to run. Yeah, the setup here is, is is by no means ideal, and that's that's part of our problem. We still need to do uh, our train imports. That's something we want to do. Um, yeah, all of this is actually actively underway, which is cool. I like to see that. We want to build a bridge and go across this way as, as well at some point. Actually, maybe that we can quickly plan in the next two minutes. Let's have a quick look at what our topography looks like. And where did we want to cross this? If we wanted to have a look here. Oh, we're right in the middle of some iron ore. And there's bauxite. Yeah, we probably need to head to the bauxite. So the bauxite's on the side of this hill here. It's on the side of the hill. It should be right over here. So the idea is if we cross somewhere over here... And we will need to obviously make that pretty um, pretty high. So let's, uh, we are probably not going to have enough route, enough time this time. But what I would like to do is let's make a bit of a start here in terms of where that's going to happen. Um, this won't work because we don't have anything that can activate it. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll pay for it using a bit of dollars. OK, 
Okay, so that's uh, what, what's what's this height we have got over here? Thirty-seven. Yeah, I think that's going to be more than sufficient to have a nice big bridge going on to the other side. Let's quickly um, grow it on this side too. Uh, I would like to make sure we maintain a pretty reasonable. Thirty-seven. There it is. Okay, let's uh, let's level it out a little bit. Okay, that's not quite what I had in mind. Uh, let's go up again. Back to thirty-seven. There we go. Now let's level from the center here. That's more like it. Just want a nice big plateau in that area. A nice big plateau over there, and that's kind of the general idea of what we're going to do with a bit of a bridge across this river. I'm going to stop. Uh, paying for stuff in dollars and we'll just build from resources from now and what we'll do as a final step is just see what our kind of bridge connection will look like 37 77 so that is going to be pretty reasonable i think that's reasonable alternatively we'll go with this guy actually that's even better So we'll place that in there. That's actually pretty reasonable. To say the least, that's a very nice little bridge connection there. So we'll keep that in mind and we'll leave that there. I will go ahead and activate it there. And that's going to be our bridge. We won't be able to build that just yet. But what we'll do is see about how we can make that work with a nice little road connection through here. And then to that side. And I believe our bauxite facilities are over here. So if we were to say bauxite mining, where would we find bauxite mining? Here we go. Yeah, here we go. This is our bauxite mine right there. So this road here, if we make a little bit of room there, that'll work. We can ultimately come and bring a rail connection into it, especially if we run it from there. We should be able to sort that out, get a rail connection to run right next to that bridge there. There we go. Bridge planning going on, infrastructure planning in place, um, more and more stuff being built. So remember what I've asked. Please let me know if you want me to continue with some stuff in between episodes at the moment. Um, I think there's not a lot of action in all episodes. This one has been pretty good in terms of planning and what else has happened but ultimately we would like to just make sure we um we maintain a reasonable pace of this series oh look at that that's actually moving things are starting to move a little bit quicker now is that built not quite there yet this one's done that's good what we would like to say is this needs to be iron ore thank you and um, this is fairly close to being done uh we'll slowly then start moving on some of the other bits and pieces the rail is being built that rail is being built. So actually, things are moving fairly quickly. Where is this guy getting stuck? Uh, yeah, pretty reasonable. You are trying to do what? You've got coal, and you're trying to deliver coal over there. So that is completely fine. You are trying to uh, upload some stuff. <sighs> Ooh, look at this. Look at this. See, this is the kind of nonsense that I had no idea was actually happening. So why are, here we go, traffic jam. So who's causing this? Can't, uh, what, let's get rid of some of these. Um, get rid of some of those. Get rid of some of these. Okay, now we should see a few more things moving. The problem with these kind of traffic jams is everything would actually get stuck. Let's move a few more things. Excellent. 
get a few more trucks out of the way. That guy's in a route, so it's not gonna help us too much. Let's see about moving some of these guys out of the way. That's okay. Slowly, we'll just need to fix some of this stuff for us. Put some meat in place there. Lots of buses here. That means everything is kind of stopping. Shouldn't have any workers anywhere because the buses have been stuck in traffic. Yeah, this is a big mess. So we do need to sort out what we're doing with them. Um, but at least we've got some open space now. That's at least a little bit... Uh, looking a little bit better for us it's some of these out of the way so we just move things through a little bit quicker and that one out of the way that one out of the way uh, ooh, ooh, get that uh, get it in there get just moving a few vehicles out of the way so we can get this thing to actually start moving again Another route there. Excellent. Slowly going. Slowly, slowly. I think the construction is, uh, is 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 adding to this mess. It's pretty slow going due to the construction. Uh, this thing is kind of blocking, so it's a bit of a problem for us most of the time. We would like um, some of these guys to just make their move out of the way. That's not bad. That guy is blocking things. Oh, it's running a little bit. There we go, excellent. So now things can start moving again, excellent. So now I think we've cleared, cleared that issue out of the way and that means this guy should be up and running again once we've got, yeah, I think this guy will now fill up, that's okay. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. I don't think we'll run out of anything just yet, but yeah, this is certainly, this area here is a bit of a mess and should have been done differently and I will certainly do it differently in the next episode or oh, in the next facility that I plan. I still love all of these little trees over here. It looks like a nice little area. We're doing pretty good with all of this. Ooh, we're out of food. Oh yeah, yeah, we've run out of people. We've run out of workers in this area. Is this thing filled up? It's almost filled up completely. But we should be making our way through a lot of the waste now, so that should be good. And this should be mainly ash, a little bit of construction scrap in the way. The rest of this stuff should hopefully clear itself out. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. I will see you next time when we will continue our journey um, towards prosperity. Things are looking pretty good for us in most categories and cases. Um, what is our productivity looking like? 96% productivity, so that's still pretty cool. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.